Well, tonight, Georgia State University students say that they are on edge after a shooting leaves four people, including two of their fellow students, injured. So this all happened near the campus at a busy racetrack gas station that they say attracts a lot of trouble. 11 Live's Karis Belger spoke with the students about their concerns and even took their questions to the campus authorities. 11 Alive spoke with the chief of police for Georgia State University, also with the president of the school. Both say they are working to address student concerns. I feel like because we're not getting the safety we need. I ran into Makai Lawrence across the street from this racetrack on Piedmont as she described the extra steps she takes to stay safe on campus. I always pull out my exit points in case something pop off or like also I know like never really go out at night by yourself. And now she says it's more necessary now. Nearby four people, including two of her fellow Georgia State University students, were shot over the weekend. The latest incident happening after police say there was a dispute between two groups and at one point it erupted into gunfire. Another student was shot earlier this year in April and another in December of last year. That incident leaving a student dead. All of these incidents happening at or near the racetrack gas station. Ava Greer says people tend to gather there and it's one of the reasons she avoids it altogether. When you have people coming together in communion, there's going to be just one person who's like kind of like the bad apple out of the whole group. And earlier today, the university president stated the gas station is privately owned, which limits what they can do, but they are working with the city to ensure student safety. Conversations, but I think that's going to be more driven by the city than by us, although we would be, we'd be totally supportive of anything we can do in those spaces to make it more comfortable for our students. GSU Police Chief Anthony Coleman tells me the school has continued increasing patrols since the last incident in April and even keeps an off-duty officer in the area. But Ava and Makai say the school could still do more. 